Pacemaker is a portable music player and mixer with all the features you need to DJ anywhere, anytime. The pocket-sized DJ system gives you full control of your mixing right in the palm of your hand. This is DJ Leanne and you are watching DJ Vibe TV. Coming up this week is DJ 101. We're hanging out with DJ Leanne from the School of Mix. She showed us tricks on getting started on Serato Scratch Live. I'm going to show you a few steps on beat matching, okay? So I've got this record going at a certain tempo, and I'm just going to play this record. I'm going to bring it in on that, for, on that first bar of the eight bar loop, and I'm going to see if this one, I'm going to determine, is this one too fast or too slow compared to this one, okay? We're actually going to play it out loud so we can actually see if this one is too fast or too slow compared to the one over here, okay? So here we go. There's the very first beat of that song. And I'm going to grab the very first beat of this song, okay? There we go. Very first beat of this song, okay? Here we go, oops. All right, one, two, three, four, two. Three, two, three, four, four. You always want to count in this eight bars. Three, four, four, two. Eight, two, three, four. As you see, it's not quite on. I think that this one is a bit too fast. I'm going to slow it down a bit. And now, you can barely hear. And it looks. Now watch what happens when I speed up too fast. That one's going much faster, right? So it's not matched. So this is what takes the skill or the practice is, is basically being able to match the beats of two songs, match the tempo of two songs in two different ears with two different songs at the same time. So you're listening to one record out loud, whether it be this one, right, or this one, out loud in your speakers, and you're listening to the other in the headphone, and you're trying to match these beats together. Um, you've got the aid of this to kind of help you along, to show you with these little lines right here, if you match these up so that they're just in one straight line that matches actually with this line, then it's pretty much matched. So I'm going to show you again what it looks like um, when it's matched and when it's not matched. So I'm going to play this one out loud now, okay? Getting that first beat going. You're always counting in this eight bar loop, all right? There it is. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four. Five, two, three, four, six. Seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, release. So, so if I brought this in now, those, those beats are not matched very obvious that they're not matched, right? So, now what you need to distinguish is, is this one too fast or is it too slow compared to the one playing out loud? So that's what takes sort of the technique and just the practice. So I'm pretty sure this one's too fast. Watch me as I slow it down and it's gonna work, okay? Gonna go through the whole process again. All right, get to the beginning of the song. There it is, cue it all up. One, two, three, four, two. I'm gonna slow it down. Three, two, three, four, four. Five, two, three, four, six. Seven, two, three, four. Eight, two, three, four, release. So I'm slowing it down. There it is. A little bit of tweaking, can I see that? That's it, now listen, I'm bringing it in live. That sounds like it's on, doesn't it? That's when the smiles come along. <laughs> right? And eight, two, three, four, drop. Right. So that is beat matching 101. It's a matter of really testing your ears. You're you're training your brain to. to to try something completely brand new. That is listening to two different songs in two different ears and matching the tempo of both records using your pitch control. With a lot of practice, you can do it. You definitely can. If you can clap along to a beat, 
you can hold rhythm, you can beat match. It just takes practice and time. Um, but with aids like Serato Scratch Live, giving us these, these visual aids, um, it's a lot quicker and easier uh, than vinyl in the old days, or in, in the old school days. Um, basically with vinyl, I had to learn with just my ears. I didn't have any visual aid. There, none. <laughs> All right, so on top of beat matching and mixing, the most important thing is the love for the music. So if you have that, you can do it, I promise. If you have any more questions, contact me, DJ Leanne, at www.girlonwax.com, or of course, for DJ lessons, schoolofmix.com. Cheers.